Hey guys, it's Nadri back here again with another video on Rico LE2. So on this video, I'm going to show you that LE2 uh, R Blaster Remote or can also work with another outside apps, not its inbuilt R Blaster Remote Control. So you can get the apps uh, which I'll be showing it in the video from the Play Store. So without any further talks, let's get started. So actually this video goes to one of my users on one of my fan following that is a Hawkson who usually have uh, gained uh, much attention from me because he's the one who is mainly involved in this video so thanks to him so for him I, I can get an idea and make a good video so let's say let's give him a good appreciation to him and thank him thank Hawk thanks for giving me the idea so let's keep that aside and let's get to see what's in the video so what you need to do first is as you know that uh, if you're using this inbuilt remote app you definitely know it how to use that as it's an inbuilt feature for this phone and i might say that this inbuilt remote control app is very much suitable than the other play store app so if you find it difficult to use it there are yes there are more apps in the play store you can always use that so first of all if you don't know how to set that inbuilt i blaster remote so i will be showing it in a quick demo so let's see a quick guide and follow my steps uh, on this quick tutorial before moving it to the main topic of the video to open your i blaster remote control app in uh, if you open it you find it you find it that i have already added these three buttons so this is already I have set up I have configured it today to show it, it in the video so it will be a easy, easier one so how you can add a remote just go to your left hand side there are three bars click on it there you see add remote so on that add option just see you, if you are using an OS, Apple and Android or Android TV you can definitely attach to your smart TV over that TV icon box and if you are using a set top box which are listed below on that the setup box option yes definitely you can use it but if you if you think that your local brands and some of the brands which you're using on your home are not listed yes there is an option just go to that universal remote option in the universal remote option you will find a configuration keys like the remotes in the in below of your device so just click on that hold it for a long time and just drag it and drop it it's a very simple guys after that just take your uh, other remote from the setup box or any of the your remote you're using just place the two air blasters side from side to side or not sorry actually it will not work in side to side just keep on normally to your device and just press once remember just press once so do not press it two or three times otherwise it will not work and you have to start the procedure from first so i have now i will show you quickly how it's done so let's check up the video and before that uh, as you can see in the video that I have totally set up the full configuration and now it's totally done this is only for the users who are using the remote control app as it is the best one for the LE2 device. So in, so in this now I will be showing you the two apps which I will be using in the video. So this is a universal remote app. As you can see there are four options smart TV remote, smart TV brand and etc etc. So if you are having a smart device just click on that and you can see that I have paired it with my TV LG TV. So this is a simple interface a good looking one and you can easily control the volume keys and up that I will be showing it in the video. So as you can see that the volume key f works finely if I change the channel but I will not change the channel because uh, I think you need to try that on your own because it will be much more fun but I will be showing some of it. So as you can see that I can always vol near the volume down or volume up and I can always check out the HDMI things and ports. So it is very simple to use this app and I think you should definitely try this out because the link is in the description below so guys just check it out on my description box so now move on to my the second app 
so just remember that uh, all apps will not work on this le2 device you need to choose it carefully the these two apps which i am showing in the video is totally proof that they are awesome one and i check that that in personally so guys use that two apps only but if you think you find another app just comment me down and i will try to see that by myself universal remote so it is taking a little bit longer time because due to my connectivity issues but after that you can see that this two has come up because my tv and my mobile has been connected with same wifi devices so it will not be a problem on that so after tapping it you need to go to your remote settings that is of this tv wifi option uh, you will see you will see by yourselves it in the video so it is taking a little bit longer than usual so after that pairing you will see this type of option so guys this is a very a good uh, you know interface you can see that you, you can enable keyboards for your uh, smart home if you are using a lg you are always getting a os that is web os on that device so see you know, sometimes it will not work because it is not is inbuilt app and it can always lag so it's up to you that what you want to do so just now you see that i am just switching up the volume a little bit higher see it works see it definitely works but it will take a little bit of time than the first time so guys it's a very useful one but guys i re recommend you to download uh, so not download to use the inbuilt app because it's much more easier simpler and very much useful for the beginners or expert levelers to use so guys thank you for watching my video i hope you have liked it so do enjoy and subscribe my channel also share and hit the like button just below and make sure that you do that and please always love my channel it's nadri nadri datta signing out baby but you